Simply put, American companies should seriously consider doing business in Montenegro and using it as a gateway to the rest of the Balkans. Montenegro is one of the newest and most beautiful countries in the world. It's a country with numerous business opportunities for American business and with free trade agreements with its neighboring countries, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Kosovo, Macedonia, and Albania. Montenegro provides American businesses regional access to approximately 24 million potential consumers. Business opportunities such as these come once in a lifetime. Let's conclude this program with some hopeful statements about the bright future of Montenegro, and thank you for your time. I'm proud to be an American uh, friend here as the first or second Montenegrin ambassador to this country and I, I'm glad that this very initiative, the U.S. Montenegrin Business Council and all the initiatives and ideas which are going to emerge from this kind of activity and this kind of communication, that there is a small ingredient in the whole activity which is called the, the Montenegro, Amb Montenegro Embassy to Washington. Thank you. Uh, this young government of Montenegro has done a tremendous great job, and uh, and uh, we are moving on, on the right uh, direct to the right directions. And the challenges that we uh, experience is basically like er anywhere else, you know. Uh, I think it's a market that is pretty much untapped by a lot of uh, of American businesses, and I would say the reverse is true that a lot of Montenegrin businesses and, and frankly Balkan businesses, uh, Balkan region businesses uh, probably aren't doing as much in the United States as, as there is potential to do. So they don't have a currency that's uh, not transferable. They have the euro, they, everything's based on euros, priced on euros, and that certainly is an advantage for them to start with. And as they build their banking system and credit system and the laws that govern ownership of property, and uh, property rights and so on, I think all these will then, then make that country even more appealing and more attractive. It certainly is a beautiful country. They have a lot of wonderful assets. It should be a wonderful site for tourism and developing that industry uh, and the roads and the hotels and all the infrastructure associated with that industry uh, would, I think, be a tremendous shot in the arm for their economy. They know that. That's a good news. They realize that. It's just going to take some effort and focus and developing good, a good plan to attract uh, partners and investors from Maryland, the United States, and around the world. Uh, the, the intensity, the sincerity, the commitment levels are, are really very impressive. Uh, the newness of their feeling of strength in a very old country, a very, with a very long and very significant history is really refreshing and it's exciting and it makes you want to be a part of it. Um, and and I, I think that that's, uh, you know, really a profound asset that the Montenegrins bring to us. Uh, it's very inspirational, frankly. Yes, I would like to welcome all potential U.S. investors. Uh, I would like to send a very brief message that they can feel safe, that there are no uh, any uh, other uh, events that are going around Montenegro that could block them in coming and seeing and witnessing what is really going on. Also, I think that the country is in the right stage at the moment of, their, of its own economic development and that it's an excellent opportunity to work together. Uh, you may be surprised that investors from 86 countries are doing business in Montenegro and our attention is to remain open. Uh, however, all these opportunities will not be there forever. So I think it's a proper time and I would really like to welcome every investor from the United States who would be interested to do the business in Montenegro to come pay us a visit and if the business is interesting enough to conduct the business. I wish good luck uh, to all of them. Uh, Montenegro in my opinion is the gateway to the Western Balkans. It is surrounded by Croatia, Bosnia-Herzegovina, Serbia, Kosovo, uh, Albania, Macedonia, and uh, through Montenegro you can have access to those surrounding countries. There are free trade agreements in place and um, there are over 24 million potential consumers. Well, I hope you got the message. Uh, the United States is delighted about the progress that Montenegro has made in the last several years in developing as a state, as a developing as a democracy, and developing as a country that is committed to prosperity and peace and stability for its own people. And in that regard, Montenegro is an important partner for the United States and the Western Balkans, 
and also represents terrific opportunities for American firms who are looking for new venues.